Each month I introduce four new fragrances and they generally come out as the VIP snack bar collection before they're introduced to any other range of products. And I thought it'd be quite nice just to uh, run through the process of what's involved in uh, putting together these collections. So this is the making of May, the story of a one night stand. This is the normal size label that I'd use, but I wanted these to be slightly bigger this month. So I'm working on that size and uh, this is the opening image. It's uh, obviously that, that meeting in a in a smoky bar room somewhere um, I'm just trying to fill some of the background here because the uh, the image itself wasn't quite large enough and then uh, this is just various um, legal CLP things um, the fragrance name will go at the bottom but I didn't want to reveal the uh, the name of the fragrance just yet there is a spoiler alert a little bit further on so we're on to image two here. Uh, this is uh, the second of the fragrances. I wanted to convey some sort of um, consent, some sort of um, event happening, um, but I was quite keen to, to have a, uh, a black and white theme in there. Um, the, the, these things are rarely black and white, so uh, I quite like the play on that. So we're on to our third image here and uh, obviously the night's progressed. Um, again, I'm just looking to fill the background here. So I've, I've actually flipped this image and, and I'm, I'm actually gonna use half of the, the image again. Uh, I'm just uh, scaling here so that the, uh, the head doesn't appear a second time. And on to our final image. And this one is obviously the, the morning after and that early morning escape that avoidance of awkward silences um, after a night that probably neither party remembers fully and um, at this point I'm just trying to scale this so that I get a little bit more of the uh, of the station um, I felt it was a little bit too too bland at this point uh, and also we're just playing around um, with the colored tabs at the bottom I decided I wanted to uh, have a, a more sepia look in time. So here we go, we, we have the, the meeting, the, the later evening and the early morning. So on to the pause and uh, faithful old Frank Burner is turned up to 10 with uh, a couple of kilo of wax melting. And we're on to the first, uh, first of the pours. So in this one, the, uh, the bar room scene I'm trying to pick up and uh, and replicate that sort of orange smoky kind of background that we had going on there um, so in with our, uh, our fragrance oil and essentially uh, I'm gonna do a three color pour here I wanted to retain some of the white um, but I also want to introduce um, quite a deep red and a deep orange so uh, so I'm going to split the uh, split the wax here I'm only making up two uh, two molds at this stage just so that uh, for demonstration purposes so it's quite easy to split at this point so we'll mix our two colors up we've got uh, a bright red and an orange I'm laying a base of white in first and then uh, we'll pour straight over this with uh, with a mixture of red and orange and uh, I finish off with just a little bit of dark brown just in, in the bottom uh, just to give a, a little bit of depth so we move on to our second um, now this is the uh, I wanted a black and white theme for this and uh, I wanted to look fairly bold lines running through so um, I'm going to pour the white first and this is over a base of black glitter so the white goes in um, I'm just heat gunning it slightly so that it runs sort of to the uh, to the left hand side better and then once that's set I'm going over the top of that with white glitter and then mixing up a very strong black black is one of the worst colors to mix but uh, 
I sort of go over the board on the black trying to get as dark as I possibly can and then we, we just do an over pour of that um, and we'll, we'll leave that one to set on to our third um, this this wanted to be a combination of reds picking up on the the red on the uh, the, the uh, bedroom scene if you wish so uh, I'm going for a deep red and again just kind of a mid red um, and again keeping a bit of white in there as well so uh, we're sort of half pouring and then a double pour of the two reds and uh, just give them a bit of a swirl there before we move on to the uh, to the fourth pour um, this is kind of the station scene so what I'm looking to do here is pick up on those dark sort of brown um, and sort of foggy kind of scene that we had going on um, but I don't want this overly coloured so I'm using the tiniest bit of brown and, um, and grey which I didn't fully mix and that was intentional so that I got a bit of streaking in there so this is a final pour and uh, we'll just let that set up and we'll see them turned out in a minute so first pour and um, we, we've kind of captured that uh, red and orange sort of fiery glow the second one I've got some nice defined streaks in there that's kind of the look I was looking for I, I didn't want it to be too black and white um, and then this is our sort of early morning smoky kind of station scene onto the labels uh, all, all the labels are manually cut out um, so there we go there's the the four bars and the four labels um, we'll just get on and wrap these now yeah I, I, I'm really pleased with this set I've, I've used larger labels because I wanted to have more sort of space to work with with the uh, with the pictures so so there we are right there's gonna be a spoiler alert now so uh, if you don't want to know the names of the fragrances then stop watching so fragrance number one is Hey You, which is a, um, a Paul Smith dupe. Fragrance number two is the Armani C. Fragrance number three is Fifty Shades of Rouge. And fragrance number four is Mysterious Secrets. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, a bit of a fun insight into how these sets are made. Head over to the website to grab yourself a set of sub bars and uh, if you could like and share the video that would be much appreciated. Thank you.